Just been asked a great question on the LinkedIn messaging here, and it's uh, basically saying I I use Word 2010 2013 and creating a document property, um, a custom document property in uh, in the Word document, and then wanting to update it later on. Okay, now, there are several ways that we can actually do this. Um, so I want to just record this quick video just to show you what I mean. Now, if you come to File Info Properties Advanced Properties here, then you've got your the various tabs. Now you can add your custom document properties here. We've already got these these built-in <laughs> custom document properties. I know that sounds a bit weird, but um, these are called custom document properties even though they are already built in, as opposed to these, which are actually called built-in document properties. So um, these are the custom ones. And you can you can set your own here. So I'll just call this we'll call this Russ Field One. Okay. Now, it won't let me add it yet because I haven't put in any value for this field. As soon as I put a space in there, that will allow me to add this, this custom field. Now, you can, if it's not text, you can select date, number, or a simple um, Boolean yes, no. But I'm just going to leave that as text. And then I'm going to call this example one. Okay. And then do that. And then what I'll do is I will select... And then I'll add it, add a few more fields, just a couple more fields like so. Okay, now example one, example two, example three. And that will do for our um, custom document property. So then I click on OK, and then I go back to my document. I can insert these properties by doing insert quick parts, fields. And then if I just hit the D key until I find dot property, and then I scroll down, I see Rust field one, Rust field two, Rust field three. So I can add, add one. I'll insert a page break there. So I prefer to use the quick keys. Um, Rust field two. Another page break. And Alt N Q F D. And then Rust field three, like so. Okay. And then I'll insert the that third field. And then. Select them all, and I'll just paste paste them in a couple couple of three more times just to show you what what's going on. If I double click between pages like this, then I can get rid of. If it'll let me, gets rid of the the actual pagination here, and it just shows me them as I can just see the text on the page. Okay, so now we've got all these different examples like this. Now. What the user is doing here is updating it by right-clicking on it and, and updating fields. So if I right-click on example one, update field, nothing's really going to happen. Okay, so if I come back to modify this property like so, modify this one like so, and modify this one like so, then I can do right-click, update field, update field, but it's going to take me some time. And there are a couple of other ways that we can actually do this as well. Okay, so if I hold down the Control A key to select the entire document, Control A selects the entire document. Now I can right click on a field, and then I do update field, and it will update all fields. Okay, that's one way that you can do that. Now I'm going to Control Z to undo. Another way we can do it is with the shortcut key on the keyboard. Now you select all again, Control A, press the F9 key, the F9 key on your keyboard, that will do the same thing. However, my recording software uses F9, and if I press that, then it's gonna do something with the video, okay? So I'm not gonna do that. But pressing F9 is the same as right-clicking and updating fields. If I just come back here again, and then I modify these properties, and I'll call that Russ A11, 2A1, 3A1, and the, the, the third way that we can do this, you can actually run a macro to set something like this up. It's quite straightforward. Now, if you know VBA, then you'd write this in VBA. But if you just click down here on the macros button in the status bar here, that's one way you can do it. The other way is, or another way is with the developer tab. If you can't see your developer tab, right click in a blank space on the ribbon, 
customize the ribbon and then halfway down here or you'll see or two thirds of the way down here you'll see developer like this and just make sure that it's selected okay once that's selected you can then get this code subsection where you can record a macro or view the macros okay it's the same thing now you can click on record macro and you can rename it we'll call this update all fields now you can assign the macro to a button to the keyboard or you can just click on the OK and it will run you can add, add a description here and store the macro and then what we do is we do control sorry we'll click on the OK button and then you can see the cursor's changed to the macro so control A to select the entire document because that's what's happening now is the macro is actually recording the actions that we do now if I didn't have the recording software going I would just press F9 but I can't do that so I'm going to hit the right key keyboard on my the right key on my keyboard then I select update fields and now I just want to hit the right arrow just to deselect like so and that's now we can stop the recording we can pause the recording okay whatever we want to do or you can click on the button down here to to stop the recording so i'll click on stop recording and now when i click on macros i can see that my macro is there now if i want to run that i can or i can go and edit and this is essentially what it's doing the first action i did was control a that selects the entire document the second action i did was i right clicked or i pressed the the right click key on my keyboard and selected update all fields so what it's doing here is selects the story with the selection which in this case is the whole story update the fields and then finally the last thing that i did was i moved i pressed the right arrow just once so it's saying right like, move right a character one so move one character to the right and that's the macro now what you can do with this if you want let me just close the uh, let me minimize this if i wanted to add this let's say to the quick access toolbar I can click on more commands then I can click on macros and there I see the update all fields and then I can add that there like so then I can click on modify and then I can pick something like a, a smiley face there like that and then every time that I want to if I just undo sorry let me just change the properties like so so I'll make that one a one a two a three a one a then I click on OK and if I want to run this macro again I can just click on the the button in the quick access toolbar or what I can do is I can press the alt key and then you can see that there's an, a numeric value so I can do alt 7 if I press the 7 and as you can see all the fields update okay those are that's three ways that you can do this hope that helps